so when we're talking phthalates, the um, phthalates are a substance that um, enables plastic to be kind of more um, malleable, and um, it actually um, is a plastic additive. And um, the, uh, it, it's included in many things, including toys for kids, uh, dashboards of cars, uh, many different kind of objects have that, bottles, bottles, of, uh, uh, you know, phthalates. And um, it's been found to be a very profound endocrine disrupting chemical. The, um, so the, the European Union began looking at the data related to phthalates. And in 2006, let's just say around a decade ago, uh, determined that the amounts that a child would be exposed to um, in the course of playing around with a ball or a little toy that had phthalates in it was um, dangerous enough to ban the use of phthalates in children's toys. And so the EU set about to ban the use of phthalates and um, as a way to protect the evolving endocrine system of children, which are, which are, uh, which are extremely sensitive and more vulnerable to, the, to these contaminants than even we adults. Um, the phthalate, phthalates are the one example where the US government actually took the lead from the European Union and went ahead and actually, a couple of years after the EU acted, the US Congress passed a law which actually banned the use of phthalates in products uh, for children uh, under the age of five for this very reason. So in this case, the US took the lead from the European Union, followed that lead, followed their analysis, and it was so egregious and so bad and mothers were rather upset, as you might imagine, um, that their kids would be exposed to this stuff, that we do have a ban on the use of phthalates in goods for children five and under, which is, I suppose you could say, an accomplishment of, um, of uh, environmental health success story. I think it's also just to keep in mind that how far behind the United States has been that actually we had to follow up this other initiative by the Europeans to actually ban this. But thankfully we have banned it. Phthalates are still in a whole array of, of, of products, but they are not in children's toys. The Consumer Product Safety Commission did an amazing uh, study of children's behavior. They were studying whether phthalates would be dangerous enough to to ban, and they watched children play with their, with their, <laughs> with their toys through one of these kind of one-way mirror things or one, and uh, realized that the average kid left alone in a room will like play with phthalate-laden toys for like hours a day. And I think at first there was a lot of resistance in the U.S. to banning phthalates, but I think in the end the, the experience of seeing children exposing themselves to phthalates was enough to shake even the most congressperson, the most beholden to the chemical industry. Well, that one could say that this is, you are dealing with a uh, very powerful um, reproductive, reproductive toxin. And um, there have been uh, studies and I don't know if you want to go into this, but um, you know that actually correlate the phthalate exposure of a woman to the size um, and functions of a male penis when they're born. This, and I'm not just saying this out of thin air. This is, comes out of a top public health researcher at the University of Rochester by somebody who's testified now in Congress and at uh, the State um, Health Department in California. So there are serious concerns about the absorption of this through the 
placenta and um, still very much an active question as to adults who are exposed. Thank <music> you.